Look at that. That's all dirt. What the heck? I don't know. It's like they're half plate. Ew. What's going on here? I don't know. What's... We'll find out when we put it back together. We'll see if that will look. We're just trying to get the truck running, so that's why we're just kind of making it better than what it was. We're going too crazy. All right, guys, so on further inspection, there was a, Wayne found a crack in the gasket. So we're just gonna go ahead and be safe and put the new one on. We were in pop. We were trying to shave some corners, but sometimes that's not worth doing. You also wanna make sure that someone didn't crank these down at some point in time, and these aren't like, oh, these are nice and flat, but uh, sometimes people crank them down like on old valve covers and stuff and they'll get bent and then you'll end up with a leak. So always make sure that that stuff's nice and flat. So kind of maybe what I'm thinking a little bit is it had a transmission problem and they took it in and didn't see anything in the pan. So they figured it was an internal problem and just threw it back together. Cause I would explain kind of why the pan wasn't cleaned out too well and also um, it could have just been that tube the whole time for the filter. It could have not been picking yeah, it that's up. That's why we're starting over, acting like we're not, because we don't know if we're getting the right information on this truck. Yeah, we're a little confused because we were told it ran and drove when I bought it, and it didn't want to move, and obviously it didn't move for a long time if it had no fluid in the transmission, so. This is what, I know it's hard to pick up on camera, but it's like maroon. It's a very weird color. Like there's water in it or something maybe. So this is the trans pan. This is what came out. And then this is a little bit left over that was in the, uh, the bottom of the actual transmission pan. So next up is the ball joints. I don't know if it'll show up on camera. Because I, I have it jacked up. Oh yeah, we have it jacked. But they're, they're super bad. Now you guys know why I'm replacing them. There is a grease fitting on the top and nobody ever used it. So. And then you can hear it's waste. A lot of times you get a squeak. A lot of times that's the sound of a bad ball joint. You know, when you're going down the road, you hear that annoying squeak. A lot of times it is that ball joint. That's where that noise comes from. the old one and then we got the new China boy to go in there I paid 40 bucks for all four of these off of uh, eBay and it comes with all your new bolts nuts cotter pins uh, we got lucky these are these are a bolt in somebody already changed them over um, but you would have to grind these out with a uh, with rivets and they're a pain in the butt so here's the Can you hear that? Let me see if I can get this boot off. Show you guys what's going on in here. Yeah, see how that's all rusted in there? Somebody uh, didn't keep up greasing these things. But the new guy's ready to go in.
we got the ball joints all buttoned up up front and uh, now we're going to take the rear brakes apart and see what kind of condition they're in so that because this is kind of like the last thing I need to get for inspection. Uh, we also have to mess with the exhaust a little bit but that's easy. I can go get that at a parts store. That's not a big deal. Oh that's on there good. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> there it is. Jesus. I use the ball peen in because the brakes are like so big and because this is a heavy duty. I'm gonna guess it might need shoes. Oh my god! <laughs> Rear is gonna make like, it. I'm guessing in two and a half, thirty seconds. Yeah, but that's a long time in drum. Yeah. But if you look in the front, you can see they're pretty low. Meaning, if I was doing this for an inspection, I would say bring it back to me in six months. I think we'll let it go. Let them go? I mean, they're not going nowhere. I'm just saying, though. I know you're not playing on. I, I would. Say I would do throw. new drums anyway. So even if the rib is getting the drum, it don't. I mean, whatever. I'm not okay. saying. Okay. I'm just letting you know for inspection reasons that this is them pads are good yet, but they are right down there. The actual seals actually look dry. The adjusters are a little rusted, but we'll let them go. Wheel seals aren't leaking. Our no, cylinders. That's I mean. the, what my biggest thing was too, and I looked on the backing plate of that one, and it was all dry. Usually, when they leak, your backing plate soaking wet. Yeah. That's one reason. I if I'm going to only pull one wheel, I look at both sides. If I see wetness on one, that's the one I'm pulling because most likely I have a wheel cylinder leaking or an axle seal leak. Right now, these brakes they could use some attention, but for him not planning on keeping this. Well, rear in here. I'm not sure if I don't plan on keeping it or if it doesn't plan on staying. Or stay, yeah, one or the <laughs> other. So Wayne found a brake line that needs to get replaced, so we're doing that now. It goes to the rear. They replaced some of it, but left a rotted section in here, so. Now they always do it. So it goes from the proportioning valve to the back. Wayne cut that off so he could get better access to the nut. There it is. Rotted piece of junk. New battery just a little bit. Yep, that's how so here you can see this would have gone in up into that little uh, proportioning valve and it's real rusty right through here. Wayne actually found it leaking at the bottom so we're gonna go ahead and mimic this line. So he's just gonna cut the line off so we have fresh line and uh, double flare it on there. It's a double flare, bubble flare that came off? Double. Double. Inverted flare. I wish it was bubble. Bubble tree easier.